folks, I'm Sean McCormick and this is the Lightroom Blog Channel. It's Tuesday so welcome to another Lightroom Tuesday and in this video we're going to talk about the different selection methods that you have inside Lightroom. Lightroom has three different ways of making selections. These are star ratings, labels and flags. Star ratings give you 0 to 5, you get unflagged, pick or reject with flags and with labels you apply a colour. So this could be red, yellow, green, blue or purple. A lot of them have shortcuts, but not all of them have shortcuts. But we're going to have a quick look at the different ways of applying stuff. So if I was making a selection using star ratings, I generally do it in passes. So I'm going to jump in by double clicking. And these are set up images, so I'm just going to arrow past these. Optionally, I could also press the zero key, which would move it on as well as giving it a zero star rating. So I'm just going to jump through these until I see one that is what I want. Here we go. This is kind of the start. This image is okay, so I will press 1. And that will move to the next image. That was not too bad. I don't like the hand position there, so I'm going to move on. Again, I'm moving on. That's just loading now. So it's loading a preview off the drive. Uh, nope. Yep, that's better. Oh, I like that much better. But again, I'm just pressing one star. This is my first pass. Again, I press one and we can see it says set rating to one and then it jumps on to the next image. Now, rather than spend a lot of time at it, I'm actually just going to show you what I will do next, which is I come up here to the filter bar. If the filter bar is closed, which it can be, you just literally click on the word filter and it will open. And I press one star. So that would show me all of the images that I've selected as one star. So I just shift click on the end one there and press N. That will show all the ones I've pressed as one star. Now, for example, if I was going through this as a second pass, I'm now going to start looking for my two star images. Press G for grid. And we go in. Let's say I'm not looking for that one. Yes, that's a two star. That's a two star. Choose between those two. I'll go for that one. And again, I can filter for two stars. And now I can see the images that have two stars. So I might say, looking at the three of them, say, OK, this is the one that I'm actually going to edit. And I might say that's three stars and that becomes, ooh, yeah, I'm in a multi-mode. So it's after selecting all of them because they're selected. So I need to just come back out here, press them to two and just select this one on its own. Give that a three. So that's now a three star. So that would be the image that I would be going to edit in this situation. So now I'm just going to knock off all of these filters altogether. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to start from this first image here that I know is an image that isn't a setup image. And we're going to talk about flags. So flags give you three options. You have reject, which you don't want it. Unflag, that it has no flag whatsoever. And then pick to say that you want to select this image. So the way that works is we're still on auto advance. And we use the shortcut keys P for pick, U for unflagged and X for reject. So again, if I press U, that's going to jump on here. I'm going to mark this one as a pick. I'm going to mark this one as a reject, for example. I'll mark that one as rejected. And that one, I'm going to mark this one as a pick. That one's a pick. This one's a pick. That one's unflagged. I might come back to it later. Oh, that's definitely a reject. And so we can then go through when we've gone through all of the images and select our filter again for pick. And that will show only the flagged photos. And so I'm just selecting them there and I'm going to press N to bring them up. And that is showing our filtering on our picked images. So only the images that we have picked are visible. The other option that we have, and I'll turn this off and go back out again, is labels. And labels are slightly different in the way it works. There's less shortcut keys, but add, applying a color via shortcut is a toggle. So if you say select eight here to select this one as green, we see it says set labeled green. I'm going to arrow back to the image. If I press 8 again, what it does is it removes the green label. So where labels are great for is if you just need to select single images really, really quickly. So let's say I'm going through here and I'm going, I'm going to go through these images. OK, that's definitely one I want to edit. I definitely want to edit that one. I'm going through here. OK, I definitely want to edit that one. So again, we can come out to the filter here and just click for green 
again I'm just selecting them there and pressing N to bring them up I can see that these are the ones that I want to edit so labels are great for making very very quick selections now with labels you can choose uh, shortcuts for four of the colors which are red yellow green and blue purple is there as well as an option purple doesn't have a shortcut though the other shortcuts are red 6 yellow 7 green 8 and blue 9 you can filter by all of them we're obviously on green here at the moment but you can also choose from any of the colors but you also have show any uh, image that has any label or show images that have no label you can of course combine all of these for example so let's say i wanted something that was three stars with a green uh, we would have it there as well and in this case this one just happens to have a flag which i can see here so that will show us whatever images have a green label three stars and a flag so that would be this image here so that's just to show you how you can filter with those as well so those are the three main selection methods which are star ratings flags and labels hey folks i hope you enjoyed that i hope you found it useful i'm going to look at other things about selections in the future uh, but for now that's just a basic intro subscribe if you haven't already uh, hit the like button if you want to like it thumbs up and of course hit that bell if you want to get notified Thanks for taking the time to watch this and I will see you in the next video.